All right, well, we're back for day two. If you remember day one, we did this side walkway out that front gate, cleaned all this up, this acid wash that was not very even. And when we were here last, the homeowner mentioned that they wanted to do uh, their back patio. All the old concrete, see if we could freshen it up, make it look shiny and new again. And we can definitely do that. So we did a little sample piece here, kind of hard to tell. Uh, here's, you know, regular, but we just kind of cleaned it, gave it some sand finish, got rid of this kind of cloudy look. Yes, this is real old. It's not going to be perfect, but hey, if we can get it to kind of match in color, get some of those stains out, some of this, just clean it up. It's going to come back over time because this is a really wet, damp area. Now, here's the back patio. This is what it looks like before. We haven't touched anything yet. Here's his seat walls. See, these are nice. These are done in perfect conditions. These are poured upside down inside of a metal form. That's why you get such a perfect finish. And even with that, you still have a little not totally even. But anyways, this is just some old concrete. And we're going to try to just even it out, give it a fresh new look over this whole thing here. There's Christine. She's throwing up some plastic. So I'm going to throw a strip of tape right on this drain right here just to keep some of the sand out but sand really doesn't clog anything it'll flow like water if you add enough water but mud will so sand and mud together no good they put in this new little area here actually this is old that's the old and this is the new slate you can see it comes up here doesn't match exactly perfect. Um, we got some bad spots. Some power washer marks here. You know, like right there. That's from a power washer. So we're just going to clean this up. Give it a nice fresh look. This is all natural stone. That's nice because you don't have to worry if the sand hits here a little. It really doesn't, doesn't do much takes out a little color but over time it comes back so we're gonna give this a work over and we'll check back with you when we're about half done we won't bore you with the blasting we all know what that looks like so see you in a minute so we're taping up these windows this one here is hard to tape because it's got a bush in front of it but we're only hitting this mow strip so the sand to actually rebound and hit that window not gonna happen but I'm gonna cover that one there if we got extra we'll throw over the glass not really worried about it it's just dust this here we throw a tarp over that keep the sand out of that a little dust doesn't hurt it that thing's out every day so not a big deal all right let's go we got miles of hose out look at this one got about 200 feet plus go turn this thing on well real quick before I get to blast and here's that concrete we did when we were here last week part one of this series top cast repair <laughs> so this was top cast repair the side was top cast repair and the back today which is part two will be just old concrete freshened up that's my footprint but that's what's nice about this finish. You can scrub that dirt, whatever. You can scrub it right off. But this looks real nice. If you didn't see that video, it's the one just before this. Uh, you'll figure it out. Well, there you go. I did that half. You can see how much fresher and cleaner it looks. Nice and sparkly. Still got some sand on there, so. But here's the old, the brown and dingy, and here's all the new. You can even see on the, on the stone how much fresher and newer it is. All the way to there. Cleaned up this nice little stone band here. 
So gonna finish that up. Took those marks out pretty good. We gotta hit that face. We'll have to cover these. I'm gonna throw some tape on those. We'll just put it long and let it hang over and let it kind of flap. And then we don't hit around those because if you unscrew these, you'll never get those screws back in. So it ain't worth taking them off. Even if I didn't tape them, you'd hardly be able to tell. Pretty nice clean area. Looking good so far. Keep going. There she is, taper. All right, I don't wanna hide anything from you. It's dusty, but it looks awesome. There's sand everywhere right now. I wanted to show you so you can see it. But look at how even that is. Pretty nice. Looks good. We got all that slate. We cleaned up along that edge. We're done all in here. Covered that drain. And we cleaned up all this slate here. And then we did a piece here. You can see the before and after. This is after. And this is before. It's going to get all mossy again, that's true, but try to keep it clean. Now this is how nice you can make it look. So that's what it looked like before. And here's after. So you see that face there, how it's a lot more even as it comes over. This area is even here, and then boom, starts uneven, and it's just like got a cream on it there. So that's finished, that's not. We're gonna keep going down these mo curves, clean those on our way out, and then sweep it up, and then we'll let you guys see the finished product. I think it looks awesome, check it out over here. These squares look so nice and smooth. And you can't even tell where the old stuff was hardly. Other than the grout's a little wider. And stone might be a little darker too. Never going to get the same stone over time. That's an old area there that we just cleaned up. It's real nice. Look at that mess. What a mess. Not too bad. No dust over in the neighbor's pool. We're good to go. All right, one more run and then we'll show you the finished product. I gotta go throw some sand in the sand pot. All right, she's fine tuning it with the old Milwaukee. That thing's awesome. There you go. Look at how nice and soft that looks. Beautiful. Try to keep it clean. We got that slate looking beautiful. Look at these mo curves. Look at that finish. Awesome. This really couldn't have turned out any better. I mean, you're always gonna have a little modeled, you know, it's concrete. It's concrete. These marks here are from a trial when they finished it this wide. So there's no way to get, you know, those are in, the rocks are pushed down. That's actually a profile there so but anyways the overall appearance look at this look at how nice that looks it's a little wider but look at that look at the sparkle just beautiful beautiful as concrete is gonna get take a look in here at these squares look how nice and soft those are now and then we got our, this is the old area here, and this is that new patch in. So we tried to make those as even up as we can. Pretty good. These, these are a little darker slate, but they still got a nice sparkle from an angle. You just really can't tell. Look at that. Those look beautiful. 
Everything looks different on a different angle. That's why I keep moving around so you guys can see all the different angles. See, you see a little dark areas? Believe me, I went over these. I tried to get those out. I tried to get these out. Here's another one I tried to get out. But the more you go, the heavier it gets. So you don't want to go too far. You'll end up making it stick out more than it hides. But look at that. I think that is a beautiful job. Did the mow curb. I don't know if you remember how. You're going to have to go back to the beginning of the video to remember what color that mow curb was. But see how nice and even it is now? Look at that. Try to get all that dark out the best you can, but that's about as close as you can get. Probably could have got a touch more on there, but it's just gonna darken up a little bit over time. This won't be so white. Did all this, look at this. All the way down. Look at that. And then we were able to come in here and kind of heavy this up and try to get this to somewhat match texture wise. See this now? It's just real soft. This doesn't scratch your fingers at all. This is real sharp. See those see those marks? because this is acid washed. This is more or less just worn and sandblasted, so it's real smooth. You don't get those dimplies. Here, see that? It's real sharp. It'll wear your feet off. This here, this does not wear your feet off. Look at that, it makes my fingers nice and smooth. There it is, that's the old stuff. All right, now we're gonna roll that hose up. Because I wanted to get that clean and make sure I didn't miss any spots. Here's that ugly area that had a lot of moss. You can kind of see it's still starting to bleed back in. It's thick stuff. So, and then some of you might say, hey, what about all that sand and the lawn? That ain't going to hurt anything. Honestly, after a good rain, it'll go away. We take this hose. Turn this on. I can get my hands on it. I'll show you guys how easy that disappears. Alright. No big deal. Goes in real nice. You just, I don't like to get anything wet while I'm here because sand is so hard to clean up, but. Once it gets in this soil, there's no way to pick it up. This kind of yard down by the coast is really wet. There it is. See that? I just give that a little hit with water. And there you go. Looks beautiful. That's the easy part, hosing everything down. Everybody wants to steal my fun part. And now we're going to walk through this and track mud all over again. So don't do that till you're done. I was just showing you guys. That's how you get rid of all the sand and lawn. Turn the sprinklers on. But there you go. That's it. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, if you got any questions, any comments comment down below like and subscribe and just make sure you like because that really helps out a little channel like me um, then I'm able to do more videos for people like you so there it is and we are gonna wrap this up and call it a day